Hello friends, I am Swati. Today we are going to discuss trigonometric identities. There are three trigonometric identities. See, we have a Pythagoras theorem that is x square is equal to p square plus b square. So write down three times. Now there are three parameters H, P and B. So what we'll do is we'll divide first by X square, next by P square and next by B square. We'll derive three identities out of it. So see, this whole equation is divided by X square. That means X square by X square is equal to P square by X square plus b square by x square. What will I get here? If it will be cancelled, 1 is equal to p by h. What is p by h is? Sine function. So this becomes sine square theta. Let it be angle be a theta plus b by h is cos. So it will become cos square theta. This is your first identity that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now let's see here. x square by p square is equal to p square by p square plus b square by p square. Now see here. Your p by h is sine, so its reciprocal will be cosecant. So it will be cosecant square theta is equal to, this will be cancelled, so you will get 1 plus b by p, p by b is tan theta, so its reciprocal is cot theta, so this will be cot square theta. This is your second identity. Now let's proceed to the third identity. x square by b square is equal to p square by b square plus b square by b square. So see here h by b. b by h is cos so its reciprocal will be secant. So secant square theta is equal to p by b is your tan square theta plus this will be cancelled so one. This is your third identity. So these are the three trigonometric identities which we will use to prove the questions. So, let us write the three identities. First is your sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Second is your 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. And another one is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to your sec square theta. Now, let us say you are given express your sine A, then sec A and tan A. in terms of cot. This is your first question of exercise 8.4 in NCERT. So you have to express these three T ratios in terms of cot A and we have to use these identities. See, sin A, it can be written as your sin square A under root because square root and this will be cancelled, so you will get sine A. Now, sine A, it can be written as 1 by cosecant square A. Because we know that sine A is equal to 1 by cosecant A, reciprocal of it. Now see, cosecant square A 
cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cot square theta. Here the angle is theta, but here the angle is A. So I can write cosecant square theta as 1 plus cot square theta. So here I can write as 1 upon 1 plus cot square cot square A. Now you have got sine function in terms of cot. So what will you get here? Under root of 1 is 1 divided by under root 1 plus cot square A. C second. Secant A. You have to write secant A in terms of cot A. Now secant A I can write it as secant square A. Because secant and uh, this square and under root will be cancelled, so you will get secant a. Now, c. Secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. So, I can write this as 1 plus tan square a. Now, I know that cot is the reciprocal of tan. So, I can write tan square a as 1 plus 1 by cot square a because tan a is equal to 1 by cot a. Now we can take the reciprocal, uh, we can take the LCM. So cot square a, so cot square a plus 1. Now numerator is under root of cot square a plus 1. And if I take the square root of cot square a, we will get cot a. Now we have got secant a in terms of cot a. Now what is remaining? Tan a. So tan a, it can be written as 1 by cot a. We have simplified all of these three T ratios, sin, sec and tan in terms of cot a. A. Now, let us discuss one more question. Is your, let's say you are given sine square 67 degree plus sine square 23 degree. Now see here, you are given sine square 67 degree plus sine square 23. You need to evaluate. You need to find the value of this function. So how will you find out? See, this 67 and 23, when I add them, they will become 90 degree because 67 plus 23 is equal to 90 degree. Fine. Now, we have already done the T ratios of the complementary angles. Sin and cos, they are complement to each other. So I can change any of them. Either this to be cos, either this to be cos. So let us say this sine square 67, I'll remain as such. And this can be written as your sine theta. It can be written as cos 90 minus theta. So here in place of theta, what I have? I have 23 degrees. So I can write as cos 90 degree minus 23 degree. So this will become sine square 67 degree plus cos square 67 degree. Now I have one trigonometric identity that is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So in place of theta, I have 67. So when I add them, I will get the answer as 1. Let us take one more example. Let's say 9 secant square theta minus 9 tan square theta. I need to evaluate or to find out the value of this function. So what will I do is, see, I have one identity related to tan and secant. Now if I 
take this tan square theta to the right hand side, what will I get? Secant square theta minus tan square theta. So, from these two terms, I can take 9 common. So, what will I get in bracket? Secant square theta minus tan square theta. So, 9 into now I have secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So in place of this function, I can write 1. So 9 into 1 is 9. So this is the value of this function. So this is how we have to use these identities to either evaluate, to find the value of the expression or to prove some identities. Thank you.